Have you ever pondered the invisible but piercing arrows of cyberbullying? How they reach out from the shadows, striking their targets with a cruelty that leaves lasting scars? Today, we delve into this digital darkness to shed light on the various forms it takes. First, we have bash boards. Imagine a bustling online forum, a hive of information exchange. Yet within this hive, a malicious bee can inject venomous words, spreading negative and defamatory information about a child, open for all to read, comment and share. It's like a public shaming event happening in the virtual world. Next, we encounter blogger bullying. Picture a blog dedicated solely to defaming a single individual, a child. The cyberbully, armed with knowledge of search engine optimization, can ensure that their harmful posts rank high on Google, causing long-term damage to the child's reputation that could affect their future employment or college admissions. Then there's cyberbullying by proxy. In this case, the cyberbully becomes a puppet master, manipulating and deceiving other online users into harassing the target child. Adults may even become unwitting accomplices unaware that they are participating in the abuse of a minor. Cyberstalking, a term often debated among internet safety professionals, is another form of cyberbullying. While it might not always involve physical threats, the persistent intimidation, vilification and taunting can create a hostile environment for the child, affecting their mental and emotional well-being. Lastly, we have cyber drama. It's a common form of mild cyberbullying or gossip that might seem insignificant at first glance. However, even this passive-aggressive form of cyberbullying can psychologically affect children who perceive the shared data negatively. Each of these forms of cyberbullying, from the blatant public shaming of bashboards and blogger bullying to the manipulative tactics of cyberbullying by proxy, the persistent intimidation of cyberstalking and the seemingly harmless gossip of cyberdrama can leave lasting emotional scars on the victims. It's essential to recognize these forms of cyberbullying and work towards creating a safer, more respectful digital environment for all.